discuss with you uh, how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So say, let's have this example. Determine the 21st term in the sequence 4, 9, 14, 19, and so on and so forth. So before that, let us have first a recall of what is the general formula of the arithmetic sequence. Okay? So the general formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? So this is the general formula or the general rule for the arithmetic sequence. Now, let us have, uh, let us identify first the given for this question. So determine the 21st term, 21st, that is the value of n. Okay? Next, in the sequence 4, 9, 14, 19. So 4 is the first term, so that represents your a sub 1. And how about the common difference? You have 4, 9, 14, 19. To get the common difference, you have to subtract. 9 minus 4, that is 5. 14 minus 9, that is also 5. 19 minus 14 is also 5. Therefore, our common difference is 5. Okay, now, so since we have n, a sub 1, and d, we can now substitute this to the general formula. So, a sub n, so that's a sub 21, is equal to, so your a sub 1 is 4, plus n is 21, minus 1, times 5. Minus 1 here is a constant number. Okay? Huwag niyo muna yan aalisin. Now, let us perform the operation. First, you have to simplify yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, a sub 21 is equal to 4 plus 21 minus 1 is 20 times 5. So, since you have here multiplication, siya muna yung gawin natin. 20 times 5 is 100. So, plus 4. That is a sub 21. So, 100 plus 4, that is equal to 104. Therefore, a sub 21 or the 21st term is 104. Okay? So, let us have question number 2. Find the 16th term of the sequence 1 8, 1 4, 3 8, 1 half, and so on and so forth. So, sometimes, kapag binigyan kayo ng fraction, nakala nyo it's the end of the world, di ba? But, going, we're just going back to the basic. So, paano nga ba yun? But first, we have to identify yung mga kailangan natin. So, like here, find the 16th term. So, meaning, ang n natin is 16. Okay? And then, so may given sequence, we can identify the first term, which is 1 over 8. Yan. Paano natin kukunin si common difference? So, again, ang sabi ko, we subtract. So, pabalik. So, 1 fourth minus 1 eighth. Ganito. So, 1 fourth minus 1 eighth. Ang common na ginagawa is to get the LCD. Pero ako, ang ginagawa ko ay ganito. We're just going to use the butterfly method yung pinatawag. So, this is 8 times 1, so that's 8. Subtraction, 4 times 1 is 4. And then, ang lalagay natin sa denominator, 4 times 8 is 32. Okay? Now, 8 minus 4 is 4 over 32. If you're going to simplify this, paano nga ba? Hanap ka ng number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, ang pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang, sa kanilang dalawa ay 4. Okay? So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 32 divided by 4 is 8. Therefore, the answer here or the common difference is 1, 8. Okay? Now,
Okay, going back. So we already have N, A sub 1, and D. We can now use the general formula. A sub N equals A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So all we have to do is just substitute. So this is A sub 16 equals A sub 1 is 1 over 8 plus N 16 minus 1 times D is 1 8. Okay. 1 8 plus 16 minus 1 is 15 times 1 over 8. Now, what is 15 times 1 8? So, when you are multiplying a whole number and a fraction, so ang gawin mo, si whole number over 1 mo. And then, you multiply numerator by the numerator, denominator by the denominator. 15 times 1 is 15 over 1 times 8 is 8. Okay po? Now, a sub 16, a sub 16. You will notice you have uh, similar fractions. When you say similar fractions, parehas sila ng denominator. So if that is the case, all you have to do is just copy the denominator, 8, and add the numerators. 1 plus 15 is 16. And 16 over 8, okay, 16 over 8 can be simplified into 2. Therefore, your 16th term is equal to 2. Let's have an example number 3, or example number 3. How many multiples of 4 are there from 12 to 80? Okay? So again, let us identify ano ba yung mga given sa atin. Okay, so how many multiples of 4? When we say multiples, Ibig sabihin yun, pag nag-add ka na nag-add ng 4, ano yung mga lalabas? Therefore, we can consider 4 as our common difference. Okay? Next. How many multiples of 4 are there from 12 to 80? Meaning, yung sequence mo daw ay magsisimula kay 12 hanggang kay 80. So, therefore, your A sub 1 is 12. At ano natin si 80? So, si 80 will be considered as your last term. Therefore, that is your A sub N. Ma'am, bakit siya A sub N? Kasi, though alam natin na siya yung last term, hindi naman natin alam kung pang ilang term yon. Okay? Now, so, using the general formula, A sub N equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, again, let us substitute. a sub n. From this given, meron tayong value ng a sub n, which is 80. Equals, a sub 1 is 12. Plus, eto, hindi natin alam yung value ni n. Hindi natin alam kung pang ilan si 80. So, therefore, n will remain as n. Then, minus 1. Sabi ko kanina, si minus 1, that is constant. Then, D is 4. Okay. So, we have here 80 equals 12 plus, since wala tayong isisimplify sa loob ng parenthesis, we're just going to distribute 4. So, 4 times N, that is 4N. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Okay? Now, since sinahanap natin si n, lahat ng constant, we're going to transpose it to the other side. So, when you transpose to the other side, nababago ang sign. So, eto, this is 80 still. Then, 12, ililipat natin, magiging negative 12. Si positive 4, ililipat natin, magi ah, uh, so, negative 4, ililipat natin, magiging positive 4. Then, equals 4n. Okay? So, 80 minus 12 is 68, plus 4 is 72. Equals 4n. Then, divide both sides by 4. Kasi, para makuha natin si n. 
So, dito sa may right side, ang natira na lang ay n, 42 divided by 4, that is 18. Therefore, our n is 18. Ibig sabihin, mayroong 18 na terms from 12 to 18 na multiples ni 4. Okay. So, kanina medyo feeling ko nahirapan kayo doon. But I'm going to give you a shortcut. Ganito. So, how many multiples of 4 are there from 12 to 80? So, ganito lang ang gagawin natin. So, hinahanap natin si n. Equals. We're just going to subtract the two given terms. So, 80 minus 12. Then, divide it kung ano ang ating d. That's 4. Then, ang last na gagawin is plus 1. Okay? So, 80 minus 12 is what? 68 over 4 plus 1. 68 over 4 is 17 plus 1, that is 18. N is 18. So, this is the shortcut on how to answer questions with uh, when you are looking for the multiples. Okay? Yeah, so now our lesson is about the arithmetic mean. Okay? So madali lang to. When we say arithmetic means, these are the terms that are in between non-consecutive terms. So ibig sabihin, nasa gitna siya ng dalawang hindi magkasunod na mga terms. Okay? The problem states that you have to insert three arithmetic means between 4 and 40. So this is 4 and this is 40. So kailangan daw natin mag-insert ng tatlong arithmetic means or ng tatlong terms. Okay, dun sa binigay na PowerPoint presentation, meron na dong formula or solution. But now, ang ibibigay ko na lang is the shortcut on how to do it. Ganito yon. So, meron tayong sequence, hindi natin alam yung kanyang common difference. Madali lang yun. So, D is equal to, all you have to do is subtract and divide. So, 40 minus 4. Okay? So, 40 minus 4. Now, si 40 ay pang ilang term? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, 5. Minus Si 4 ay pang ilang term? First. So, 1. 40 minus 4 is 36. Over 5 minus 1 is 4. 36 min uh, divided by 4 is 9. Therefore, your common difference is 9. Ibig sabihin, magdadagdag ka lang ng 9 simula kay 4. So, 4 plus 9 is 13. Plus 9 is what? 22. Plus 9 is 31. Plus 9 is 40. So, meaning, tama yung ating sagot. So, the three arithmetic means are 13, 22, and 31.